In the second part of our interview with South African hard enduro rider Kirsten Lundman, we found out how she faced her fears after a life-threatening accident and how setting her sights on the 2020 Dakar Rally is so much more than just about racing. So after my year of recovery, the rest of 2013, I sat the year out and just got my strength back, um, built up my confidence. I started riding again, but there was no more racing. 2014, I had my first shot at an extreme enduro, world, world extreme enduro. I went to Romaniacs and I entered the bronze class and um, I got my first real taste um, of, of proper hard enduro and I fell in love. And um, ever since then, uh, we're now, what, four or five years later, I've done Romaniacs five times. I became the first female to finish the expert class. Um, then I've done Sea to Sky three times. I became the first female to finish the gold class. I've done Roof of Africa six times. Um, I finished. I finished silver. I finished bronze, and I became the first female to finish gold. And I've got three gold finishes now. I've done Red Bull Megawatt, um, placing in the top 30 out of 1,000 riders. And I've I've raced in the World um, Extreme Super Enduro Series, which is um, just against the females, and I placed fourth there, which is something very different for me, but a cool experience. I've raced Red Bull Brave Man in Namibia, um, becoming the first female to finish the silver class as well. And, um, you know, I got asked a lot of questions after I had all these accomplishments where people said, Kyle Kirst, you've, you've kind of reached the pinnacle of your career in the World Extreme Enduros. What's next? What do you want to do now? And then um, a very big mentor in my life, Joey Evans, got back from the Dakar Rally in 2017. He had just finished the Dakar and he was like, Kurt, you know, if there's something you got to do, you got to do the Dakar Rally. If there's anyone that can do it, it's you. No, but I'm scared about my accident and blah, blah. And he's kind of like laughed at me because uh, Joey learned to walk again from being paralyzed. And from that, he went and rode a motorbike and finished the Dakar Rally where he had everything against him. And, um, you know, he, he kept bringing it up with me and then, you know, he planted a seat. And just before the, the end of 2017, I spoke to my boss at Francisca at KTM and I was like, I want to do the Dakar. And she's like, you know, if you want to do the Dakar, you're going to have to get back into off-road racing because obviously she's seen me grow and she saw me have my accident and she knows how much I hate the fast stuff. And then I spoke to my family about it and they hated the idea, but um, it was to overcome a fear, you know, because everything between then and now has been overcoming my fear. You know, I knew I would have to get back into off-road racing and I hadn't raced an off-road race since my accident. Botswana Desert 1000 in 2013 was my last off-road race and I swore to never go back into it and I swore never to go back to, to, to Botswana to go race again. But 2018, I went back in, you know, around about the same time that I had my accident and I went there and I raced two days and I finished the race. I got my finishers medal, which is one of my one of my medals that hang on my with all my best, you know, my Romaniacs and my roofs and stuff. So that for me was was huge. It was emotional, it was terrifying, it was was everything I thought it would be and more. But to have crossed that finish line safely, finally, five years later, it was like a weight of the world had been lifted off my shoulders and you know ever since then I've been racing all the off-roads and surprisingly doing pretty well you know so the fear of speed will always be there you know when I race but it's got a lot better you know I think I uh, myself is a, I'm a more experienced rider so in August 2018 um, I made my official announcement that I'll be competing in the Dakar Rally 2020 maybe I can become also at the same time as conquering the biggest fear of my life but uh, I can become the first African female to finish the Dakar Rally and it's just another bit more motivation so it's 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 exciting it's scary it's it's a history behind everything you know and it um, it makes me more motivated to, to, to do it, to go there, to finish and to come home with my finishers medal. This is a big journey, um, it's very exciting and um, it's, it's something I believe where I, my, my path was meant to be because this has not just been an overnight decision, this has been years of preparation and hard work and training and you know getting over that those those mental blocks and stuff so it's, it's all very exciting but um, I think I'm ready. To keep up with Kirsten and more on the power tools that won't quit, follow Ryobi Africa on social media.